My name is Dr Denise Conroy. I work in the Department of Marketing at the University of Auckland Business School. I'm a consumer behaviourist and I specialise in transformative consumer behaviour. So this means changing the way that consumers behave, often in quite significant ways. So it can be used for commercial purposes, such as introducing a new brand and encouraging consumers to try the new brand and interest in the kinds of sensory prompts that would encourage consumers to try the brand. Or it can be used for more social marketing purposes, such as encouraging people to wear seatbelts in vehicles. I'm really interested in encouraging consumers to make healthier food choices. I'm particularly interested in children and adolescents, adolescents as they transition into adulthood and making their own choice for good nutrition for life. Supermarkets are our lifeline, they are where we go to shop and for most of us it's five days a week. Supermarkets have a responsibility to ensure that there's adequate nutrition available in them. And of course they do an excellent job, most of them, with the fruit and vegetable aisles and the food produce such as the meats. So as you walk into a supermarket, one of the first things you notice is that there's very rarely any natural lighting. This is to encourage you to stay longer because you're not aware of the passing of time. The first thing we see in any supermarket is usually the fresh produce, the fruit and vegetables. The beautiful colours stimulate our senses and encourage us to buy. And here we have the soft drinks, equally colourful, just like the fruit and veg, but not nearly as good for us. The range is huge and the sizes of bottles are quite significant in terms of how little they cost for the volume that you can actually get. The other aspect that I'm very interested in is food labelling. This is where we give lots of information on what is in our food. And I'm interested in how people, as consumers, learn to read these labels. How do they decide what is really important and how do they decide to accept or reject a food? People are becoming much more wellness aware. In terms of marketing, we're starting to see lots of different products being marketed as providing wellness benefits. Wellness can mean different things to different people and to different demographics in any society. For a young family, they may be focused on their very young children and making sure that they're getting enough nutrients for cognitive development and for healthy bone growth. For older citizens, it may be about cognitive health in a different way. It may be about maintaining our cognitive health. Also, mobility could be wellness. So making sure that we can still move and that we've got good muscle growth and good sustainment of muscles. Many businesses are actually starting to come to market with products that will satisfy consumers' needs. They're adding value to things like yogurts with the addition of probiotics and those are selling extremely well. My role is to determine whether this would be acceptable to a consumer and if it would be acceptable, how to then package it for the consumer so that the consumer understands what is actually available and the benefit that they will get in consuming this product. The important thing is to get to know the consumer, to really, really understand the consumer and their needs.